do you prefer gonzo or features, big productions, at-home amateur? You know, I like to be challenged. It's hard to say because there's parts of it that I like about all, like features I like because I love, I like doing the movies and really portraying a character and doing something that's kind of different and also doing something that I know is a part of a, a bigger scope of something, really making an idea of who a person is come to life in that type of thing. And um, I think one of the reasons I've gotten cast a lot for features as well, too, is because I'll carry that character into the sex scene. Mm -hmm. I don't just stop at Which the kissing. Which I think kissing, is so important. You know? So many yeah. people drop that character right. once they get into the sex. And they do one thing and then it yeah. just comes out the same. And I think that's one of the things, too, that I've harped on before as far as like just a performer in general. But I believe for male performers... And female performers, it's a different female performance. Your versatility comes from the types of scenes you do. You can you could do anal, you could do this, you could do that. You know what I mean? You can do all those types of things. And I think for male performers, it comes from the other end of knowing that if you're supposed to be kind of a more timid character in this movie and you're really supposed to be kind of pushed by the girl or something like that, that you really keep that character through it because it doesn't make sense when like I was doing teen roles and stuff where I'm supposed to be like a virgin and I'm like, oh my God, like I've never seen boobs before. And then two minutes later, I'm like choke fucking her yeah, yeah. and like slapping her and stuff like that. I'm like, it doesn't make sense because yeah. this character is not that person. Yeah. So, and I think a lot of that dog comes from ego and things like that. And I think it was one thing uh, Seth had also said on here as well, where, you know, a couple, you know, a good decade ago or even a little less, it was always about that gonzo. Like you could do the other scenes, sure, cool, whatever. But when it comes to the awards, to the attention, to the nominations, to the actual things that people consider in this industry to be what matters, is it always came down to the gonzo type of scenes. You know, as rough as you can be, as hard as you can be doing these crazy positions and stuff like that. And I really think that someone's overall performance of course, includes Gonzo because Gonzo is a part of the industry, but it also includes the the tenderness or the nuances to sex that can go into a sex scene to really bring and keep a character throughout something rather than just being like, hi, honey, I'm home from the office. Time for me to like, you know, gag you or something and like choke you until like you like that's not what you wanted for that mm -hmm. scene. You know, I have a question. So you mentioned the awards mm -hmm. um, because I've heard so many girls tell me that you know, in order to win that coveted award, like, you know, performer of the year or whatnot, they need to do a gangbang or they need to do a DP or they need to do anal or they mm -hmm. need to do whatever, all of these things. Do right. you ever feel like trying to achieve those awards pushes girls to do acts that they may not be comfortable with because they want that award so badly? For sure. Yeah, I, I think that people... I think what it is, is it's a hard line to draw. It's a very gray area kind of thing because at work, right? Maybe you have a corporate job and maybe you stay five extra hours at night, one night, or you stay three extra hours, or you go out of your way to buy your boss coffee, or you go out of your way to do another project or to train someone else. Those are all acts that you'd be like, okay, you're perfectly fine with. You're doing something you maybe didn't want to do in order to show that Bring you can, that extra yeah, mile. right. You're going that extra mile. You're a team player or what have you. And the thing with the industry is that that extra work is sex. So it really comes down to is, is this girl putting herself in harm's way? Are you having, you know, like a lot of girls were like the eating disorders. Are you really uh, ready to do this? Is this something that you want to do and you know where this will take your career? And maybe you're not so comfortable with it, but you're ready to do it. Or do you feel like the only way to get yourself noticed, the only way to get all this is to really just do something that you don't have the ability to do. And I think that always just comes down to the person. You know, yeah. if you, if you're in a place where you're like, I might not like anal, but I know if I do anal, I might win an award and you're fine with, you know, exchanging guess, the two. I guess if it's like, yeah, it's whether or not, is it a challenge or is it you compromising your boundaries? Right. And that's right. why that gray area and, is hard because, yeah. because it is, you know, to me, it's the same as if you're like, I'm going to do an anal scene. Maybe your boss is like, I want you to take this transfer to another state and be away from your family for two weeks or three weeks to train people, right? Mm -hmm. You know that that might get you something else. You might be, you know, brought up in the ranks quicker because you did something like that that proved it. But you also have to sacrifice time being away from your family. You're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be in a new place. Okay, so maybe you, you know, you're like, well, I could do the anal scene and I know the anal scene is with this person and for this company and a part of a big feature and it'll probably get nominated and get all these awards, but it's going to be a really uncomfortable day for me. 
like you got to kind of weigh those two and figure out to yourself, is it worth doing it? Or are you compromising something that you are just not uncom- uncomfortable doing all for the idea that you have one shot at getting something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, what, what are the awards that matter? Because you're right. Like performer of the year right. is performer of the year. Right. It means you can perform and you can do right all this crazy sex stuff that most people can't right. do. That's why you're a porn star. That's why well, you get the awards. And then there's like best actress award, which is like right. a totally different thing, yeah. you know? Like and that's, you could spend your whole year never doing anal, just acting and get yeah. best actress, you know? Yeah. And like Vanna, you know, when she won last year, it was it was because of the showcase, because of what she did in the showcase. But in the showcase, she did her first anal, she did her first DP, like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like, so there was all of that that hit all of the Vixen media groups, like marketing the all the different sites that they had mm-hmm. as well. So there's a little part of all those different things, but also she did those first. Now, it wasn't her first time, obviously, you know, getting fucked in the butt. Like we've done that enough times it and wasn't. stuff like that too, right? What? Sorry, guys, not first, all of her first on camera. So <sighs> yeah, but um. <laughs> You know, it's just one of those things where she she was like, I'm ready to do this. She was prepared to do this. She wanted to do something big and to go hard for it. And that's what she decided on doing. So that wasn't even something that I would consider. I mean, obviously it was challenging, but it was never a compromise of anything like that. She knew that that's where she wanted her career to be before. Like when she switched over, I think the big turning point for her was switching over from ATMLA and then had this plan set up COVID set that plan back. And then with Vixen, she came up with it. So it was all a methodically thought out thing. So I don't think there's any compromising of that, but there are certain girls, especially with certain agents who try and push things because that agent knows they're going to get paid more money. Mm -hmm. That girl, you know, could do this for a couple of months and then quit. She could be a lifer and then just be like, Mm -hmm. I love this. Let's go. But it's that compromise in that moment of going, am I really ready for this? Or am I just telling myself I'm ready for this because yeah. I think that I'm going to win an award? Yeah. And that comes with like knowing right. yourself, which exactly. is a longer journey for some of us than others. For sure. Yeah. 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 So it's, you know, yeah, it, it definitely, that's where that gray area comes in. It's really a personal decision, you know, yeah. and, and people will consider it be like, oh, well, it's because it's sex. And I'm like, it's, it's not any different than doing a lot of other things. It mm-hmm. just happens to be that it's a, an orifice in your body, maybe, that that's what's being, you know, taken away from you rather than family time or something else, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. 